Ever get stuck in the middle of a senior session with your posing and you just freeze up and you're like, I don't know what to do next. And you're scrolling through Pinterest, looking up pose ideas and your clients, your seniors awkwardly standing there. That has happened to me before multiple times when I first got started. But in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a few tips on how you can mix up one single pose and add a ton of variety and ensure that you will never freeze up again with your senior posing. So if that sounds like something that would be helpful, stick around because we're jumping right into it. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and I am a senior photographer if you're new here. And this little space is just my fun corner of the internet where I like to share some helpful tips and tricks for your senior photography business. And today we are jumping into a few of my favorite things. It's my favorite topic and we are talking about senior posing, but specifically adding in some variety to your just standard walking pose that, we, that you would do at a senior session. So we're mixing things up and talking about walking poses. I think a lot of times at senior sessions, we tend to just stick to the classics, smiling at the camera, looking over the shoulder, walking just straight on towards the camera, or sitting down, you know, the classics. We tend to just get stuck on those, and we forget that it's important to add a lot of variety and add movement into those really just like stagnant, basic poses. When I used to freeze up at my senior sessions and just be like panic scrolling through Pinterest, I started to kind of switch my mind gears and think about how I can take this one pose that my senior was already in and add some variety or some movement to it and be able to create a whole other set of photos from one single pose. Sharing a few of my favorite prompts to get my senior moving and add lots of variety from just the one pose. If you've been here for a while, you know that posing, senior posing is my like my heart and soul. I love talking about posing. I love teaching other photographers how to pose their seniors. A lot of times, like I mentioned earlier, it's easy to get stuck in the very just like basic classic poses and do nothing else for the rest of the shoot. But that's not what seniors are wanting. Your Gen Z clients are not the same as millennials. They are wanting more fun, carefree, candid, super like movement involved poses for their pictures. And that's why I created the Posing for Gen Z guide, which is my completely 100% free little PDF guide that I made just for you, for your senior clients. Um, I use these poses literally at every session. And so in today's video, I'm walking you through one of them and I'm so excited just get right on into it. So why don't we do that? Um, if you are interested in the posing for Gen Z guide, it's linked right down below and it will help you tremendously with adding in some more movement and fun, trendy posings that your senior is going to love, I promise. Okay, so we all know the basic walking pose towards the camera, which is an amazing like way to get your senior moving right off the bat, adding in some, you know, just free movement. She's doing her own thing. So I'm gonna walk you through a few of my favorite just like prompts that I use to kind of mix it up, switch it up, and get a completely different look with every single different prompt. First things first though, if you are not telling your senior how to do the walking pose, just like the flat out basic walking towards the camera pose, that's where you're going wrong in the first place because there's actually some key directions to give your senior as she's walking to the camera. So before I even have her start walking, I tell her, okay, look, we're gonna do a walking pose, which is super easy, but there's a few key things to, to get it right and to make it look really effortless and really cute. So first thing you have to do is walk super slow-mo and I, and I say, which is gonna sound and feel so weird, but you just have to hear me out, literally walk like you are walking in a slow motion music video or something, and I will demonstrate this to her. Walk super slow towards the camera, and then secondly, as you walk, cross your legs kind of one over the other as you're walking, instead of just walking straight like this, you're gonna take your legs kind of cross one over the other. And those are your key movements to just like crushing the walking pose. And then I'll tell her too, I'll say, you're gonna start first smiling at the camera and then I'll say laugh off to the side, laugh over to the other side, bring a hand up to your hair, laughing, and then I'll take the shot and then we will mix it up with these next few prompts. So that's just kind of the basic rule of thumb for a walking pose. Um, so that's 
pose number one, essentially. <laughs> so after we're warmed up a little bit and she's done the walking pose a few times, I say, okay, let's, let's mix this up a little bit. We're getting a little more advanced. Just bear with me. And this one I like to call walking on a tightrope. And the way that I explain this to her is that I will literally tell her, pretend like there is a straight line down the sidewalk and you are walking on a tightrope. So you're going to you know, really cross those feet over one by one, even walk up on your tiptoes a little bit. And then arms are coming up to the sides, making sure you balance, rocking side to side. Um, I'll tell my senior to kind of look down at the ground laughing, look at me laughing, even kind of lean forward laughing. Um, as long as she keeps rocking side to side and taking those tiptoe steps forward, then she's got it. The next one that I do, um, especially, so I'll do this one by itself, but also I'll do this if maybe the walking on a tightrope doesn't quite work for your senior client. Maybe she just like doesn't quite get the movement down in her head. I will switch it up and do this one for her, but I also will do this one anyways. And this is just the foot kick as they walk. So with this one, we're kind of back to our basic walking where she's doing one foot in front of the other as she's walking. Um, I typically will have her put her hands up in her hair or one hand up in her hair, maybe swing the other arm out, laughing to the side. And and with the foot kick as she walks she's literally just flicking her feet up as she's walk instead of just taking the normal steps and so that's a good way to mix up the basic one but also add in a little remix to the walking on a tightrope if that one might feel a little bit awkward for your senior the foot kick is also really fun too it gets them laughing it gets them giggling and it's really fun it's a super trendy pose that a lot of influencers do as well where they're kicking up their feet towards the camera you can shoot this from a little bit lower of an angle or straight on or a little bit from the side just to get a different um, a few different angles and kind of mix up the pose a little bit as well so this next one is super fun too because it's got the title of it has our girl T swizzle in it and this one I call the Taylor Swift run and that's because in her folklore album there's a picture on like the album cover of her running through a field and that's essentially what I have my senior do for this one is I will have her run away from the camera and I explain it it's not really a run it's more of a frolic through the field or the grass or wherever you may be um, and then as she's kind of running it's kind of like a almost like a skip like a light skip a light jog <laughs> um, I'll try to put a little video I recorded this one on my 30 days of reels so I'll try to plug that in here somewhere too so you can see it better visually um, and then I'll just have her turn look back over her shoulder laughing at me as she's doing her Taylor Swift run uh, away from the camera and this one's super fun too especially if they're barefoot or in a really flowy dress it looks amazing this next one is named after one of our other queens and it is the Elle Wood strut and I use this one a lot with my grad sessions um, when or anytime that I'm doing a cap and gown photo shoot and with this one I'll have her put her her cap and gown on. I also do this without the cap and gown. I'm just giving you some different ideas. Um, but I love this one, especially with the cap and gown because it's the L Woods strut. And for this, I just I tell them to embrace their inner L Woods and strut their stuff towards the camera like the boss that they are. And with, for this one, I literally just tell them to do their own thing. You know, look off to the side, laughing, throw their hands in the air, do a spin. As long as they are just strutting their stuff towards the camera, then you've got it. This one makes really great face amazing smiles and laughs towards the cameras it makes them feel really confident too which is one of our keys of creating an amazing senior experience is making them feel extremely confident and I just love this pose and sometimes I'll start out with it not the very beginning but once you know we've gone through our 15 20 minute warm-up but this one it just creates lots of fun lots of big smiles really gets them into it and it makes them embrace their inner L Woods which is what we we all need, right? All day, every day, embrace the inner L Woods and we're set. <laughs> For this next one, I call this one the walk and spin and it's literally what the name says they're going to walk towards the camera I normally will have them I'll tell them to take three steps go one two 
three, spin, and I'll explain to you, you know, let your arms fly as you spin, or maybe if they're wearing a dress, I'll tell them to spin the, the dress, whatever the situation may be. Um, I always start off with three steps, take one, two, three, spin, and keep walking. Um, and I will do this one walking towards the camera as well as away from the camera. It looks great both ways, and you kind of get a mix up of different looks when, they, when they're spinning towards it or away from the camera. But this one's always so so much fun the girls love it and you just you really just can't go wrong with this one it's just so good and last but not least I love this one it is called the look back at it because that's exactly what you're doing so have your senior start walking away from the camera um, I normally will give her a countdown I'll say start walking away and then I'm gonna count down one two three and then have them flip their hair back over towards you and looking at the camera but this one is always so fun to and and your seniors for sure are gonna love it, especially if you tell her to look back at it. She's gonna be like, slay, period. If today's video was helpful for you, be sure to grab the Posing for Gen Z guide right down in the description. Like I said, it's totally free. Literally just enter your email address and it's sent right to you. There's nothing to it. And it'll be full of some of my favorite go-to prompts for trendy posing that you can use at your very next senior session. And your seniors are guaranteed to love them, I promise, because I use them at all my sessions and my seniors just die over them. But be sure to grab that if you haven't yet. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the absolute world to me. Um, and give this video a little thumbs up if it was helpful for you. Leave a comment if you have any questions or any like posing questions you have or YouTube video ideas that you want to see. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Um, and other than that, I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye!